Hello and welcome to a new video from me. Every now and then it is necessary to quickly block transactions system wide. Whether for security reasons, for maintenance work or for troubleshooting, blocking transactions is an important action. You can find out how to do this now. We open the transaction sm01 underscore cus. We see here a window and we can run the report to see which transactions are blocked in our system. So I'm in a test system. We see 18 transactions are blocked, are locked, and we can now get the list of the unlocked transactions. Oh, it's a bit more, 13,000. And now I want to uh, I want to lock the transaction business partner today. So we see I can open the transaction in my test system. It works. And now let's lock the transaction. So we type in business partner, click on not locked. Then we have here one result and we can add here some additional uh, information. So application attributes, we can run the report again. And now we see the assigned package and the software component and so on. Then we mark the entry and we click on the icon lock. Then we can decide it's the lock in the whole client or WinGUI or non WinGUI and we pick the whole client. So now the data is saved. The transaction should be locked. We check this here. We run the list again with the locked transactions in our system. And we see here, first entry, application name business partner is locked from me in client one. So we test this, we open the window, we try to type in the business partner transaction and we see the message is locked, local customize in lock. Okay, and how to unlock this? Pretty easy. We mark the record again and we click on the icon unlock. So we go back, we type in the business partner and check the box not locked. We run the report, we see the entry business partner not locked. So we should use it again, business partner transaction and we see we can work with the transaction again. Again. Yes, so that's all there is to it. And if you don't want to miss any future videos about SAP, then subscribe to my channel and activate the little bell so that you are always notified when something new goes online. Thanks for watching and see you next time.